when I was 15, 16, when I really started to play guitar, I definitely wanted to become a musician. It was almost impossible because it was the dream was so big that I didn't see any chance because I was living in a little town, was studying, and when I finally broke away from school and became a musician, I thought, well, now I may have a little bit of a chance because all I really wanted to do is music and not only play music, but compose music. At that time in Germany, in 69, 70, they had already discotheques. So I would take my car, would go to a discotheque, sing maybe 30 minutes. I think I had about seven, eight songs. I would partially sleep in the car because I didn't want to drive home. And that helped me for about uh, almost two years to survive in the beginning. I wanted to do an album with the sounds of the 50s, the sounds of the 60s, of the 70s, and then have a sound of the future. And I said, wait a second, I know the synthesizer. Why don't I use the synthesizer, which is the sound of the future? And I didn't have any idea what to do, but I knew I needed a click. So we put a click on the 24 track, which then was synced to the Moog modular. I knew that could be a sound of the future, but I didn't realize how much the impact would be. My name is Giovanni Giorgio, but everybody calls me Giorgio.
free your mind about the concept of uh, harmony and of music being correct, you can do whatever you want. So nobody told me what to do, and there was no preconception of what to do.
Hey, Bob, I'm looking at what uh, Jack was talking about, and uh, it's definitely not a particle that's nearby. It is a uh, bright object, and it's uh, obviously rotating because it's flashing. It's uh, way out in the distance, apparently rotating in a very rhythmic fashion because the uh, flashes come around uh, almost on time. As we look back at the Earth, it's uh, up at about 11 o'clock, about uh, oh, maybe 10 or 12 di Earth diameters. Uh, I don't know why that does you any good, but there's something out there.